Welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 3. Today, we are going to be taking a look at one of the most iconic Lamborghinis of all time, the Gallardo. So, I actually really, really like the Gallardo. Like, this thing is just, it, it's one of my favorites of all time from Lamborghini. So, it used to be the entry-level Lambo. They started producing them in 2005. They ran all the way to 2013. I'm sure a lot of you guys know the Huracan is kind of like the new updated version of the Gallardo. It's what kind of replaced it. Um, but um, these things are still near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love them. You guys can see here, this is an LP570-4, which means it's got 570 horsepower going to all four wheels. It's all-wheel drive. And and uh, these things, they're just, they're beasts. It's like the quintessential Lamborghini. So uh, I can't wait to check it out. The Super Legera is kind of like a special edition of this thing. So I think the original Gallardos came out in 2005. And then in 2007, Lamborghini came out with the Super Legera model, which was a little bit more expensive. And it was mainly focused on weight reduction. So it reduced it by a little over 200 pounds. And get this, there is a horsepower upgrade it went up by 10 horsepower. So it really didn't matter much there, but mainly what it was is they added a ton of carbon fiber and titanium to the car. So like pretty much all the bolts were changed to titanium, um, the seats, the mirror housings, the rear diffuser, the skid plate, like everything else was changed to carbon fiber, the door panels, everything. They essentially stripped it down and everything that they could reduce weight on, they did to make it a better performing car. So uh, let's see how this thing performs. Here we go, guys. So we already actually own this thing. If you guys don't remember in our last episode, we went through and unlocked it via the skill point redemption tree, I guess you could call it. It was one of the ones you could get by spending skill points. So I'm actually, I'm pretty stoked about this. Let's see what we can do in terms of paint. Because uh, although I don't mind this green, I definitely think there are better options we could go for here. Manufacturer colors, we have the green and black, the orange and black, the yellow and black. I like Lamborghini yellow. The black on black, silver on black, white on black. I think the white looks really, really good on the Gallardo as well. But um, because this is like one of my favorite OG Lambos, I think we're going to go with the yellow on black here. We could paint the hood. I like painting the hood carbon fiber. I don't know if we want to do it for this car, though. I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to leave that like that. The mirrors are already carbon fiber. We'll paint the wheels carbon fiber just because I think that looks good. Which one do we want here? So this one looks lighter in the picture but darker on the wheel. This one looks darker in the picture but lighter on the wheel. That's weird. All right, so I'm going to go with that. We'll tint out our windows. Could paint the wing. Ooh, painting the wing might not be a... I actually... I think we should definitely paint the wing. Definitely. I like it. I like it black. All right. That's what she said. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and save that to our current car. And um, let's see what we could do for engine upgrades. All right, guys. So for around $60,000, we are going to take this thing from S1 to S2 class. We're going to reduce the weight and we're going to add a couple hundred horsepower. So um, it's pretty exciting. I like it. And I can't wait to get this thing out on the road. It's going to be a beast. All right. I, did, I, just, I love the look of it, man. I, just, I don't know what it is. This is always one of my dream cars for sure. And it's not the normal Lambo that has like the Lambo doors and is all fancy and stuff. It's, um, I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty cool car. All right. So we're going to try uh, to get inside here. You guys can see there's the carbon fiber on the door panel. So we're going to go ahead and shut that. Look at this, dude. Look at all that carbon fiber in this interior. Everything they could possibly do to save weight. That's nuts. Oh, that thing sounds mean. Woo! All right, boys. Um, change the horn. There's really not much else to see in here. Let's go ahead and take this thing out for a spin. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I feel like they're missing some pretty important... So, obviously, they have this car in the... Um, the skill point tree, but, uh, you know, when I originally got the game, I thought they didn't have the Gallardo, and I was wondering what the heck was going on. There's some other ones in here, too. Like, they don't have any Porsches. It's um, the ooh, what's the Forzathon event? Aerial Acrobatics. Perform five barrel roll skills to earn 20,000 credits. Earn three stars in three danger zones. 
Rack up a 50,000 ultimate air to win three wheels. Wow. I think we're going to have to check that out. It ends in one day. We're going to have to check that out. Not in this episode. Probably in the next one. That'll be kind of fun. Let me build an off-road vehicle for it. Or use one of the ones we already... The Jeep. We already have the Jeep. That'd be fun. Anyway. Yeah, but like there are no, no Porsches. There's no 911 or Cayman or Panamera or anything. Like there are some cars in here that I, I would really like to see that... They just aren't there. All right, here we go. So we have a Mountain View Scramble Championship we could go take on. Sounds good to me. It's just down the road a little bit. Dude, this thing is so quick. I actually don't know the stats on the, the Gallardos. Obviously, they're going to be quick. Probably 0 to 60 somewhere in the four second range. Not sure what top speed would be. Looks like our top speed here is around 215. We just became a Lambo sandwich right there. You have arrived at your destination. Overshot it a little bit. We're gonna be okay though. I just, I really like, I don't know, I like the front and back end of this thing. I think it looks good. I like those square tail lights. The Audi R8 kind of got some, um, some influence from this car, I feel like. The tail lights look pretty similar. The new ones, the, the brand new R8s. Anyway, here we go, guys. Expensive looks and even more expensive performance at the Modern Supercars Championship. The Angry Bumblebee is in action. Let's get it, boys. I feel like we look like a big bumblebee, all yellow and black. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Settle down there, Chief. Yes. Nice, a decent start. Getting in front of the Gallardo, or the, the Huracan, I'm sorry. We're gonna see who the better entry-level Lambo is. Roads are a little bit slick today, but just try to make the most of it. Oh yeah, looks like we might be getting some off-road action. I guess a little off-road action never hurt anybody, unless you run into the wall twice. Oh dude, I remember th this race was rage-inducing. I hated this race so much when we played it. Okay. At least now we're going to be putting the championship away. We'll hopefully get the gold and we'll never have to race it again. Until we get... To, this would be a good one if we did like... I want to do like a Subi or like get a, a Mitsu Lancer or something and throw some rally tires on it and just kind of have some fun with like a, a rally car. I guess a Lancer isn't really a rally car, but we could make it one in this game. We could make anything a rally car. We could have thrown some big shocks on this thing and uh, lifted it up a little bit, put a rally tire on and called it a rally car. Yeah, I want to do some off-roading stuff, then I also want to do um, some drag soon. I want to start figuring out drag. I'm going to make one of those darts that beats everything and then just kill people. Just destroy him out there on the strips. Alright, so this isn't going too bad so far. Speak too soon, but. Seems to be going decently well. This is. I, I forget which car we were in last time. We were in one of the hyper cars, so the competition was insane. And then um, we just had so much power that it was like. It was hard to control on the. Dude, this thing feels really good. I like it a lot. The weight to it just feels nice. The acceleration feels good. It's got enough power that it's like it gets you from point A to point B, but it's not too much that you're you're all over the road. I'm pretty sure the Gallardo was known to be a decent driver's car. It's also known to be pretty um, reliable. Like there are people with 100k. 100k miles on it and it still runs well. Uh, some of the newer Lambos I think they're worried about aren't built as well. The Uricons and stuff. They don't know if they're really going to last that long. With the Lambo and the, the prices you pay for maintenance. Ooh. You want it to last as long as possible. Alright. So honestly that was a pretty uneventful first race. 
Worked well. I liked it. Handle well on and off road. So we're going to call that a win. Our first race of the championship. I'm going to see you guys in race number two. And um, take it away. So the, uh, the Huracan took it a little bit personally. He ended up getting second place in that last race. So we're going to have to make sure we uh, stay on top of things and show him what's up. Uh, a couple of 488s here. Oh, coming in a bit hot. Yep, a bit too hot, a bit too hot, a bit too hot. We're going to be okay. What a turn we have here, dude. Woo! Got him on the inside there. Had to do a little off-roading. That's something that the, the AI aren't as willing to do, is like stuff like that right there. Just cut the corner a little bit short. They won't do it, so that's where we get kind of a... Advantage. See, here he is. It's the Battle of the Bulls, boys. Nice. There we have it. We're definitely going to have to get some inside shots from the cockpit, too. Forgot to do that in the last race. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, dude. So much speed here. 150 miles an hour down a dirt road. In a Lamborghini. Could you imagine how scary that would be? Sliding all over the place. Oh my gosh. Barely caught that. Alright, I don't really know when we should slow down here. Doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and hop inside see what we can do. We've got a cracked window, but... Windshield's looking okay. Woo! Really cutting across corners here, boys. Oh, okay, we're getting wet. That's what she said. Slide around this. Ah! We're getting a little bit crazy here. Here we go. Here's the straight through the finish line. We have one more lap to go. Dude, we are destroying these guys in this car. I don't know what's going on, because our first race was pretty bad, too. I think it's just good for its class. I don't know. Like I said, it, just, it feels really, really solid. Either that or we're just racing pretty well with it, which... I don't think we're racing extraordinarily. We're not doing bad, but... that corner a little bit too wide. Dude, the crowd always cheers as you go by them, and sometimes it kind of freaks me out a little bit, because I think they're cheering because somebody's about to pass me or something. Woo! I like getting sideways in the air on that one. Go ahead and slide right into yo girl's DMs. Yes, sir. Get a little e-brake slide action right there, and that, my friends is going to be another solid win here in the competition. Let's go, boys. One more race. Let's get one more win. Look at that right there. The Huracan. It's actually a Horizon Edition Huracan, which is kind of cool. But he's, he's right behind us every time. Couple of seconds there. He's only two points behind us on our class. So far, we've got the better of him. Round three, baby. Let's see what we can do. All right. Looks like it's a little bit wet over here as well. Dude, this thing off the line is just destroying everybody. I wasn't really expecting, I mean, all-wheel drive, of course it's gonna be fast at acceleration, but I wasn't expecting it to be like it is. This time it looks like these guys might, might be doing a little bit better. We, um, uh, the Huracan got second place in the last race as well. So he's going to be close to us in points, that orange Huracan. If we score second here, we should be okay. I think if we score third, we'll be tied for, for first. I want to make sure we try to stay in second, baby. All right, we got three laps here, boys. Okay. It's very slick. Look on and off road in this race. Nice. Right. We're back in this. 
I'm feeling good. We're flying on this road, bro. Oh, those upgraded brakes in action right there. Those things are hot right now. I know it. I wonder if they'll actually lock up like they can in real life if you go through too much water. I don't think they will. I definitely think all this mud getting caked up in there would have an effect on our ability to drive, but I'm not seeing it happen so far. Dude, we are just flying. I'm not letting up whatsoever. We are flying, bro. Go ahead and throw an e-brake turn. Oh, what? Oh, we left a, a road trap back there. It's like we're playing Mario or something. Leaving bananas behind for people to run into. That's awesome. All right, here we go, guys. I'm feeling great about this car. Honestly, this might be one of my favorite cars we've driven so far. For its class, it just... It outclasses everybody else. It's crazy, man. Honestly, we probably could up the difficulty to uh, unbeatable here. We would have been okay, but uh, I don't know, dude. It, like the second to last difficulty to unbeatable, I feel like is a huge jump. We've tried it a couple times before, but I feel like it's a pretty, pretty serious jump. Look at this, dude. We are just full throttle. I, I barely let up off the gas. Overshot this one a little bit. Need more traps. <gasps> they actually got into the middle of the road, too. That's crazy. Alright, guys. So, that's gonna be three laps, three races, and three golds. Let's go, boys. Good stuff. That's gonna be a tournament win. Hope you guys enjoyed. The Gallardo is an absolute monster in this game, and I definitely look forward to using it more in online. Um, tomorrow we're going to take on that Forza-thon event. We're going to have to do some barrel rolls, some jumps, and some stuff like that. It should be a really fun one. And so I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.